Hi John, so um, I thought I'd, I'd make a little video to answer your question um, in regards to the noise with the buzzer. Well done for noticing this. So uh, the question is that uh, when you uh, set up a little circuit that contains a potentiometer and a buzzer and uh, in your sketch you take a reading of the potentiometer value and then do a calculation to convert that reading into a voltage and then you pass the voltage value to uh, uh, PWM by using the analog write instruction. So um, your question was that, hey, uh, when I do that and I turn the knob, the, the volume or the, the loudness of the buzzer doesn't seem to go gradually up uh, and increase. Instead, it increases at uh, at steps, so when the voltage goes from 0 to 1, then I've got an increase in loudness, and from 1 to 2, increase in loudness, and so on. So the increase is not is not gradual. So how come that uh, that is so? So I thought uh, I would investigate, and uh, here is your sketch. I will upload your sketch to my Arduino, and I've also hooked the Arduino onto my multimeter, so that we can see the PWM value that is coming out to the buzzer. So um, these are the values that are coming out and uh, let's see I'm turning the buzzer and you can see I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here you can see that as I'm going I'm turning I'm now at about two point something volts I'm going to turn a little bit more let's go to three volts so as I'm turning within the two volt range there's no change in loudness once I switch to three you can see that the, the loudness increased and um, the, the period of the P PWM signal also increased. So back to two, okay, and then to three. You can see it's a, it's a sudden increase. So the reason this is happening is that in your sketch, you are using a float to hold the value for voltage and then you're doing a calculation in here. This calculation, of course, returns um, uh, not an integer, but the floating point number. And you can see in the output here, you've got 3.04 uh, 3 volts and uh, 3.278, um, etc. It's not an integer. In the uh, documentation for analog write, you will see that uh, the value that you pass to the PWM function has to be a byte, a whole number, an, an integer, uh, and the valid values are 0 to 255, so you can't have decimal. Okay? You cannot have decimals here. So what the Arduino is trying to do is to just round to the closest integer. So it will take the 2.82 and it will make it a 2, and then it will take the uh, 3. Point, uh, let's go to, oops, other way around. Let's go to 3.31, it's going to turn that into a 3 and then keep that value until the, the floating point number of voltage moves on to say 4. Alright, so that's one thing. So a quick way of uh, adjusting your sketch, I'm going to move to my own adjusted sketch here, is to use the map function. This is what you really want to do. Your analog read takes in a two byte, hang on, I'm going to stop this for a second <laughs> so you can hear me better. So analog read uh, gives back a, an integer, uh, so that's a, a 10 bit value. So we use an integer to hold it. So the range for that is one, uh, 0 to 1024. What you want to have in your PWM function down here in analog write is a value from 0 to 255. So to do this conversion, we'll use the Arduino map function. So you're saying to the map function that I want to take uh, a value from knob, knob value, which is in the range of 0 to 1024. And I'll switch that back to 255 for now. And you're saying that I want to convert that uh, value from into something from 0 to 255. So map will give you back a byte, so an 8-bit uh, uh, value. You could have used integer here, int, but just for simplicity, I'll just make byte here. And then you're going to pass that byte with PWM func uh, value into your analog write. And when you do that, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. All right, let's upload that. Uh, 
Okay, so now have a look at the oscilloscope. Let's make. All right, there you go. So as I turn that up, you can see that the period increases. So this this value here, this is the the, the high for my PWM function. So the as I'm turning it, say this is anti-clockwise the way that I've connected the cables. The period the duty cycle increases and as I'm turning it the other way around it decreases until it goes to zero and then there is no noise coming out of the buzzer so loudness loudness is zero so when you turn it the other way around you can see that the period of the PWM duty cycle increases all the way to this is 100% and as soon as it reaches 100% again there is no noise in the buzzer so Remember that here we are trying to simulate uh, analog output uh, using digital means only. And PWM, uh, what, what it's doing is to, um, to simulate analog using basically digital. So this is a, a low in my signal to the buzzer and this is a high. F um, the buzzer is at its loudest when the high in the whole period here. Hang on, let's just try to make this a little bit easier to see. Okay, I'm gonna go about to 50%, and this is as loud as the buzzer gets. And the period here starts, say, around here, at this peak and ends and ends here, and the next, and the next peak up. And the PWM is uh, at 50% at the moment, and that's where the buzzer is at its loudest. And as you are moving towards or beyond that, so 60, 70, 80, 90%, then the loudness starts to decrease. And it decreases because basically there are no changes in the signal, no changes in the waveform here. So um, there's no vibrations being produced uh, in the um, piezoelectric um, components of the buzzer. So in order for you to make noise, you need to have um, changes in the waveform and the most noise will be produced when the changes are at the peak, at the, the biggest changes. So, and that is here. You have one big, um, say, wave, or so part of the waveform at high, followed by the biggest possible low. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. I'm explaining this well. So, this is why you get the loudest of your um, buzzer noise at 50%. So if I want to, if I want to be able to just turn turn the knob one way until it reaches the end of its, um, you know, its ability to turn, uh, and I want that point to be the loudest, I'm just going to change that to half of 255. So let's make that 125 uh, to do five. Yep, it should be okay. So now, when I upload again the sketch. I'm going to turn one way, duty cycle is going to be zero, so no noise. I'm going to turn it all the way to the other side. Here, and that's the loudest, that's at 50% uh, duty cycle. So that's as loud as it can get. So I'm not taking advantage of um, the full resolution of my analog input. So, okay, I hope all that makes sense. I didn't baffle too much. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please uh, let me know via the forum.